I want to work with a company that places integrity above all else, a company that believes in always trying to do the right thing. I want to work with a company that operates by principle. I want to work with a company that places the quality of its products and the safety of those products as well as the safety of its workforce above all other considerations. At P&G, there is a long blue line. It stretches from the present back to the founding of our company. It is a line that connects generations of women and men whose imaginations and hard work have touched and improved the lives of billions of people worldwide. At just a dozen points along this line have stood the leaders upon whose shoulders the rest of us stand today and will stand for generations to come. John Smale is one of those leaders. He came to P&G because he believed in P&G. John Smale grew up at P&G the way most of us have, learning by doing, leading by giving, making a difference that over time earned him distinction. And 29 years after he joined the company, he stepped up as president and chief executive and took his place among the giants along that blue P&G line. He set the course for a future that is still unfolding, increasing the number of categories in which we compete by more than a third, expanding operations into 23 new countries, transforming how we work with the invention of category management, product supply, and customer business teams, accelerating the growth of health and beauty with the acquisition of great brands such as Olay, Pantene, CoverGirl, and VIX, P&G's consumers, partners, employees, and shareholders continue to reap the benefits of John's leadership. But even more than this, John's leadership endures because of what he believed as CEO and the example he sets as a leader still today. Excellence. That expresses what we should expect of ourselves and of our fellow employees. We ought to be the best at what we do. We all have an obligation to one another to try to do our very best to be able to look at a job performed and say that was done to a standard of excellence. I believe that for this company, the first objective is that Procter & Gamble have the leading share of market in every category in which we compete. The second and equally important objective is to have the leading brand in each category. The importance of achieving these goals of having the leading category share and the leading brand in each category is directly related to the third goal and that is to be the leading profit producing company in each category in which we compete. They are goals that everyone in this company has a role in achieving. This is indeed an innovative company. The products that represent the foundation of this company's profitability today are products that were truly innovative when they were introduced. But it isn't only innovative products that are characteristic of this company. It's innovation in other areas as well. It's Ma Perkins on radio in 1931. It's being the first company to use color in print advertisements, the first to sell directly to retailers, the first to use the brand management system. Innovation must be as much and more a part of our future as it has been of our past. We care about the world around us. It isn't enough to stay in business and be profitable. We believe we have a responsibility to society to use our resources, our money and our people and our energies for the long-term benefit of the society as well as the company. We don't have to worry that our company will be found guilty of cheating our customers or selling shoddy or harmful products to consumers or becoming involved in unethical financial dealings or polluting the environment and trying to cover it up. We don't have to worry about any of those things happening at Procter & Gamble. Doing the right thing, 
This heritage of character is our compass, keeping us on course as we grow and change and evolve. And most important, John Smale believed in the long blue line of PNG people who have always believed in our purpose. Why were the thousands of people who preceded us committed to the success of Procter & Gamble? Because they believed that they were the Procter & Gamble company, all of them together. They shared the same values. They shared the vision of those two immigrants who chanced to step off an Ohio River flatboat with not much more than a dream. We're here today to share that vision, a vision of a Procter & Gamble company that provides more people throughout the world with better products than ever before. It is with the strength of his beliefs and the demanding standard of his example that we honor John Smale today by taking our own place along that blue P&G line and recalling the request he made of us when he stepped into the shoes of those who came before him. But I would also make a personal request of you for your best wishes and for your prayers for me as I assume the responsibility of the office of the chief executive for what has been under the leadership of my predecessors the greatest company in the world. I promise you I will try with all that's in me to see that it so remains.